It's a new year and a new you, which means it might be time for a new writing routine too. Is your old writing routine failing you or just non-existent? Are you struggling to sit down to write every day? Or are you just looking for a way to jumpstart your writing in the new year? Then this video is for you. Coming up, I'm sharing my step-by-step -step guide to creating a writing routine that works so you can get those words flowing and start finishing projects faster. Hi, I'm Jessica Brody, author of Save the Cat Writes a Novel, as well as 20 novels and the founder of the Writing Mastery Academy. Okay, writing routines. First up, you might be wondering, do I really need a writing routine? And I'm here to tell you that yes, you do. You absolutely need a writing routine. So first, let's talk about what they are and why they're important. A writing routine is a set of steps that you follow each time you write to make sure you're writing consistently and boosting your writing productivity, meaning writing as much as you can each time you sit down. Writing routines are more than just picking a time of day to write, although that's a big part of it. If you've taken my course, Productivity Hacks for Writers, or Novel Fast Drafting, you know that I take writing routines to a whole new level. Because truly, I believe that they are the key to making you not only a successful writer, but a productive writer. Establishing a writing routine and sticking to it will not only make it easier for you to sit down to write each day, it will also ensure you get more words written every time you do sit down. Human beings are creatures of habit by nature. We thrive on routine, which is why writing routines are so important to our success as writers. Before I created my own writing routine, I struggled to sit down to write every day. I hemmed and hawed over it. I procrastinated all the time, finding a million things that just had to be done right away this minute. And before I knew it, it was nighttime and I was tired and hungry and no words were written. Now I write consistently 1500 to 2000 words a day, which allows me to finish three to four books per year just from having a writing routine that works. That's what I mean when I say you need a writing routine. I honestly believe that a solid writing routine is what makes a solid writer. Not skill, not plot, not even character development, but creating and sticking to the same routine every single day. Or if not every day, then on a consistent schedule. That's what separates the pros from the amateurs and far too often the finished novels from the half finished ones. Here's why. Anyone can start a novel. Some people may say starting a novel is easy because it's when you have the most inspiration. A shiny new idea with a shiny new character and a shiny new world and shiny new writing tools to help you record it all. But not everyone can finish a novel. That's the hard part. Because inspiration runs out. Always. You have to count on that. If you count on inspiration getting you through your novel or writing project, you'll most likely fail. Because inspiration is too fickle it never shows up on time. It cruises in and out of your office whenever it feels like it, and it often takes unscheduled vacations for weeks at a time. Basically, inspiration is the worst employee ever, so don't depend on it. But you know what will get you through that novel or any writing project you tackle? Discipline. Discipline is the best employee ever. Discipline shows up for work every day, clocks in at the right time, and works hard no matter what. Discipline never takes a vacation and always is there when you need it. And the way we get discipline is by setting up a consistent writing routine and sticking to it. So let's talk about how to create one that works for you. Oh, and if you want an easy way to follow along with all of these steps and customize them just for you, then head on over to jessicabrody.com slash writing routine to download my free writing routine quick start guide. Step one, pick a time of day to write. This is by far the most important step, which is why I talk about it first. You want to try to stick to the same time every day. This will help create a habit in your mind and in your schedule. When you do the same thing every day, you don't really have to think about it much. You just do it. It becomes part of your day, not something you have to try to cram into your schedule every time. I often compare writing to brushing your teeth. Most people brush their teeth around the same times every day. We don't really think about it, we just do it. The more you can cement your writing time into your day, the more it will start to feel like part of your day. So look at your schedule and ask yourself where you can realistically fit in a writing session. Be honest with yourself. If you're trying to write at 6 p.m. every day, but you know that you often have dinner plans during the week, it's going to be hard to make that work. I encourage most people to try to write first thing in the morning. It's when our brains are the freshest and when there are the least distractions, especially if you wait to look at your phone or check email or social media until after you're done writing. 
which I do every day. But it's also the easiest place to make time. If your schedule is already chock full from morning to night, then simply set your alarm 30 minutes or an hour earlier and right then. This is also easier than trying to stay up an hour later each night. Our brains tend to be more tired at night and our well of willpower runs dry throughout the day. So it's often difficult to convince ourselves to sit down to write after a long day of convincing ourselves to do all these other things. So I urge you to try to schedule your writing time each morning. Step two, pick a length of time to write. How long can you realistically write each day? 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, more? To be honest, I don't think the length of time matters as much as the consistency. Staying in your story or project day in and day out will help you keep track of it and maintain momentum. In other words, you'll get more writing done each week and better writing done if you write for 30 minutes each day than three hours only once a week. So even if you can only carve out 30 minutes, do it. If you can carve out more, great. But again, the key is to be honest with yourself. Don't overcommit and then have to let yourself down two weeks in. It's better to schedule a 45 minute writing session each day and be able to go over from time to time than to schedule a two hour session each day and have to cut it short half the time. You can get a ton of writing done in only 45 minutes, especially if you eliminate distractions while you're writing. Step three, decide how many days a week you will write. When writers ask me how often they should write, I usually say, every day if you can. For myself, I find writing every day is the easiest way to make it a habit and keep my brain in my project. When I write only a few days a week, I can lose track of my story on the days off, and then I find it extra hard to get back into the writing when I come back to it. This can throw off my momentum. However, I realize that writing every day is not realistic for some, and that's fine. Which is why I tell people the most important thing, again, is to be consistent. If you choose to only write five or six days a week, try to make sure it's the same five or six days a week, like Monday through Friday or Tuesday through Saturday. Or if you only write on the weekends, try to make sure it's every single weekend. Again, it's all about creating that routine for yourself so that it feels normal, habitual, and a part of your life, instead of something you do from time to time when you're feeling inspired or bored. Trust me, none of my novels have ever gotten finished by writing just when I'm bored, or inspired for that matter. Step four, schedule your writing sessions in your calendar. When you schedule lunch with a good friend, you put it in your calendar, right? When you have an important meeting with your coworker, you put it in your calendar. When you book a massage or a haircut or any other service you have to pay for, where does it go? In your calendar. Why? Because you don't wanna forget it and because it's important to you. The same goes for your writing routine. You need to treat it like any other appointment something you don't wanna forget, and something that's important to you. When you make your creativity a priority, your creativity prioritizes you and shows up for you when you need it. When you treat your writing time with the respect you treat other appointments, you will not only be less likely to skip it, you'll find that you simply get better writing done because you're reserving time for your mind and in your schedule for that writing. Once you decide which days you're going to write, what time you're going to write, and for how long you're going to write, all of that should go into your calendar as an appointment. Not only will this help you stay consistent, it will keep you from accidentally booking things that might conflict with it and having to cancel your writing session. When you open your calendar each day and see writing time scheduled along with all your other engagements, you will start to take the act of writing more seriously and give it the attention and priority it deserves. Step five, design a ritual to activate your creativity. Have you ever watched an Olympic swimmer mount the diving block and shake out their limbs one by one? Or a basketball player bounce the ball at the free throw line? Or a tennis player bounce the ball before they serve? If you look closely, there's something very systematic about it, almost like they're performing a ritual. And that's because they are. When we perform the same movements over and over, they become ingrained in us. Our brains memorize the movements and associate them with certain activities. The same works for writers. If we think of each writing session as that winning free throw, or that winning serve, or that dive off the block to win the race, then we too must do something physical to cue our bodies that it's go time. It's essentially hacking our brains by systematically snapping it into writing mode. One of the ways I've been able to hack my brain into writing consistently every single day and getting ample word count out of those writing sessions is by establishing a writing routine that plays on my brain's natural inclination to respond to routine, which is why I do very specific things every single day in a very specific order before I start writing. And I encourage other writers to do the same. 
Beyond simply writing at the same time every day, which definitely helps cue your brain that it's writing time, this can be anything, as long as it's a series of things you do each time before you sit down to write, like taking a walk, doing jumping jacks, stretching, putting on lotion, lighting a candle, clapping your hands five times, eating a certain food that you only eat when you write, or drinking a certain drink, listening to a certain song, wearing a special outfit designated only for writing, or a combination of things. I will say the activities or movements that I find work best are the ones that trigger senses, like an aromatherapy oil or candle to trigger smell, or a specific song or soundtrack to trigger hearing, a specific food to trigger taste, and so forth. But the key is that you reserve these activities only for before your writing sessions. Maybe you buy a special lotion that's scented just to put on before writing. You don't want to use that same lotion when you're running errands or sitting down to pay bills. That won't allow your brain to make the correct association. And that's exactly what's happening. Your brain is making an association. And that's the key to designing a ritual that activates your creativity. The ability for your mind to associate the action or movement with writing. Simply by setting up one of these rituals, which can consist of one action or a series of actions, and doing it consistently every single day, again and again and again, you create an association in your brain with the writing process. It may feel silly and weird and foreign at first, but eventually your brain will pick up on the patterns and it will start to make a difference. Trust me on this. For my writing rituals, I eat the same thing every morning, only drink coffee when writing, walk the same loop with my dog, meditate in the same place, and write 10 things in my gratitude journal. Then by the time I sit down at my desk to write, my brain is already in writing mode before I type a single word. So do some thinking on this. Try a few things and see what feels good. It may take a few tries to get it right, but whatever you choose, try to stick to it every day and watch how your brain responds. Step six, treat your writing time with the respect it deserves. And finally, the last step to creating a writing routine that works is to make a promise to yourself that you will treat your writing time with the respect it deserves. This sounds simple, but it's actually where most writers fail and can be the hardest step to implement. Many writers perform all five other steps of the list flawlessly. They pick their writing time and length, put it on their calendar, design an effective ritual, but then when it actually comes time to write, they treat their writing time like an annoying relative they don't really like. Meaning they do everything in their power to not actually engage with it. Your writing time is sacred and it should be treated as such. To start off, your writing time is for writing, not doing a million other things at the same time, not checking email, watching a bit of news, checking social media, texting with friends. My recommendation before each writing session is to clear away all distractions, shut down all other windows on your computer, put your phone on do not disturb mode, or better yet, in the other room, shut down all notifications from any apps on your phone or computer, turn off your TV, clear away your desk, all the clutter is gone. Let your writing time be about writing. I also advise you to set a timer when you write to keep yourself on track and accountable. Nothing is more motivating than a ticking clock. And when you know you only have two hours or however long your writing session is, your mind doesn't have time to space out or wander, wondering what's going on in the news, whether or not your brother replied to your DM on Instagram, or who's going to win this season of The Voice. Your mind has one task and one task only, to write. Plus a timer, like putting your writing sessions on your calendar, helps keep everything official and on schedule. And it trains you to value your writing time and respect it. If you make a dentist appointment, you show up on time, right? If you're paying for a guitar lesson, you come prepared with your music organized, ready to play. You don't dilly dally around, play a little, check your phone, watch an episode of Friends, then play a little more. If you book a massage, you stay for the full hour you paid for, right? Treat your writing time the same. This is your time. You scheduled it. You put it on your calendar. You made space for it. It's not a time to dip in and out of while you're balancing and juggling a million other things. Prioritize your writing. Don't stop to change out the laundry or text your friend back. It can wait. The timer is going. The clock is ticking. It's time to write. So as you set out to create your own writing routine, make sure you're including this last but essential step. Make a promise to yourself that you will treat your writing time with the respect it deserves and your writing will respond in amazing, beautiful ways. 
To get started customizing a writing routine that will activate your creativity and boost your productivity, be sure to head on over to jessicabrody.com slash writing routine to download my free writing routine quick start guide, which walks you through all of the steps in this video. Plus it includes a full step-by-step -step breakdown of my own writing routine, as well as uh, lots of ideas to choose from for designing your pre-writing ritual. It also comes with my 15 day writing routine challenge tracker, which you can use to challenge yourself, hold yourself accountable to sticking to that routine, and if you want, share your progress online with your friends. Again, this is a free download that I will link to in the description below. If you'd like more advice on writing routines and writing productivity, be sure to check out my online courses, Productivity Hacks for Writers and Novel Fast Drafting, both available on demand in the Writing Mastery Academy. If you liked this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe so you can catch my next video the moment it releases. Until next time, happy writing everyone.